joined today by Nathan Keys. He is a musician. He's putting out a new song right away. But before we really get into the meat of that, Nathan, I can tell that is not a Manitoban accent. Are you originally from Manitoba? No, I'm not. I'm originally from Northern Ireland, from the UK. So I came to Canada in 2007 with my mom and dad and one of my brothers. Uh, and I've been living in Winnipeg ever since. Lovely. Well, we're so happy to have you. I love the accent, by the way. I- Irish accents are just my favorite. I'm not even quite sure why, but I got to <laughs> check out Ireland. Like, I really got to go there. Have you been there since? Been back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we normally, uh, whenever I was kind of growing up with my parents, we'd go every every other year. Um, I'm now married for the last five years, and I have a little boy and another one on the way in, in May. So we oh, were congrats. just there. Thank you. We were just back home there in July of last year, spent a week in Northern Ireland, spent a couple of weeks in Scotland, uh, had a really lovely time, got the chance to show my son off to the rest of my family that's still back in Northern Ireland. Amazing. That is fantastic. And then when you have your second child, maybe you'll have to go back. That's sounds... We'll have to go back, yeah. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> lovely. So you have a new single coming out. It's called The Way, The Truth and The Life, correct? Yep, that's correct. Okay, I would love to hear what inspired this. Tell me a little bit more about this single. Um, I'm just always drawn to to writing songs about God's holiness. Um, I I wrote a little blurb here, so I wouldn't wouldn't forget. Um, but I, I just love being able to proclaim that we are set apart for God, and this song is no different. There there are many religions, there are many ideologies in this world. And yet Jesus comes and says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Um, and I just love that. And I wanted to write a song about it. I think I, I think I wrote maybe the chorus and maybe a verse or two a year ago. And then I forgot all about it. And then an opportunity came up that I was able to record this song. And I was like, OK, I've got to finish this song and, uh, and get it released. Absolutely. That Bible passage for me, um, I've studied a little bit of apologetics and just knowing that Bible verse really sets apart for anyone who wants to say, Jesus was a cool guy. He was kind of a cool teacher, but I don't know if he was a son of God. Well, right there, he claimed it. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. So it's like, you can't say that. You got to say, okay, is Jesus your Lord or was he full of it, right? Like he was one of the two. So I love that verse. It's such a great reminder of who he really is. Anyway, I I will stop now too, but (laughs) great, great song idea. I love that. Um, When we think about 2024, you mentioned that you've got another child on the way. That's so exciting. How about music wise as well? What does 2024 look like for you? Um, Yeah, so child number two is on the way. So I've got a good friend of mine, Bryden Doherty. Um, he's got a company called Concerts on Request, and we're hoping to do some worship nights in Manitoba over the next few months before the baby arrives. We just did one actually in Joy Fountain Church last Saturday, which was lovely. We had Preston there as well opening up for us, um, and it was just a lovely night of worship. And we want to continue to do more of that in Manitoba. That's that's my heart as a worship leader for the last 10 years, is that I love being able to have the privilege of leading people to the throne room of God. Um, yeah, it was it was just a powerful night. So we're hoping to do that over the next few months. Um, I have three other songs that I'm in the process of recording. Um, one of them Thanks. for sure will be released later this year. I'm still in the process of figuring out the other ones, but one for sure is, is coming later this year. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll come back again and we'll, maybe we'll have the same, same kind of chat about yes, that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's, that's really 2024. And once the baby comes, then I'll kind of peace out for a while and <laughs> <laughs> Good. not, not worry about the world and, and just focus on family. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds great. Uh, what I just want to honor you really quickly in is your heart towards worship and as a worship leader, you know, really, as you said, reminding people of God's holiness and who he is, because I won't go off for too long, but there are many songs that are called worship songs these days that kind of 
trail away from God and is more on the people or, you know, instead of just like singing worship right yeah. back to God. Have you noticed that at all? Yeah. Um, it was, I'm trying to remember the, the joke now that, that someone was telling me. It's like, if, you, if you're listening to a worship song and if you can replace Jesus with Steve and the meaning of the song doesn't change, then it's probably not a worship song. <laughs> That is good. I'm going to use I'm going to try that, actually. I like it. I like it. Um, I wish I could I give someone credit for that, but I can't remember. <laughs> um, if it's all right, I'd love to ask a little bit of a personal question. Uh, yeah. How, like when you are creating music, it's a very creative process. You can really write it about anything, but how has faith impacted your life and your music? Why choose to sing about God? It's everything to me. Like it, just as as the song says in in the chorus, um, you're the way, the truth, the life, God, you are my everything. Like I I grew up in a Christian home, um, came to Canada when I was 14 and back in 2007. Someone can do the math and how old I am now. Um, kind of grown up in the church, but I really didn't take my faith seriously until probably probably just before I started leading worship. I had a youth pastor that spent a it must have been at least a year, maybe a year and a half, going through the Book of Romans. And that's really where my eyes were opened up. I was like, I was going through high school, not that I was necessarily doing anything bad, just my heart wasn't fully fully in line with God's with God's plan. Um, and then once I went through the Book of Romans, it was just like, this is it. Like, it's like what, what the verse says, like Jesus is the only way. Like, I can't have one foot in and one foot out. Like, I have to be fully committed. Doesn't mean that I'm perfect. In, in everything that I do, like we're we're human at the end of the day, we're we're sinful people that, that we need God's grace, and I just want to faithfully live that out in my life. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing that. And just a quick side note: Beyond a Shadow of a Doubt, Romans is my favorite book of the Bible. Of Absolutely. course, there are many others that are super great, but like, <laughs> woo, Romans will do it. <laughs> Right on. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us. We are going to share your song, The Way, The Truth, and The Life, with all of our listeners. They can listen to it. I believe below we'll, we'll get a link in there. But thank you for taking the time, Nathan. And uh, thank you for sharing your heart for God as well. Thank you so much for having me.